Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos that's dealing with another earth sign. That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. We're going to see what's going on between you and this earth sign, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see what's the energy surrounding you in this earth sign. This is for my Virgos that's dealing with another Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Show me, Spirit. Show me what's currently going on with my Virgos that's dealing with another Earth sign. That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Show me. Show me, Spirit. So we have passion. There's a lot of chemistry between you and this Earth sign. There's a lot of chemistry here. Somebody's missing you. Wedding rings, union, wedding, married. Mm. For some, some, some of you guys, are there's a reminiscence here. There is a reminiscence. There is a reminiscence for some of you guys. This is somebody here that you're married to or this person is married. This could be somebody that you were married to as well. Not today, not dealing with hurt, avoiding. Some of you guys are avoiding this person. Some of you guys, you're avoiding this person. Yeah, because some of you guys, you think this person's an asshole. For some of you guys, you feel like this earth sign is using you. Like they're, they're very charming and they're using you. For some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here. Somebody knows. This is kind of giving me, for some of you guys, you feel like this person's playing with your intelligence. You feel like this person's playing with your with your emotions for some of you guys. For some of you guys, while, while, while you have moments, there's moments of nostalgia here. There is moments of nostalgia here. For a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of you wanted something solid with this person. Some of you guys could have actually been married to this person. I see a lot of boundaries being put up. I see the, a lot of boundaries being put up. I see, a, I see a lot of avoiding. Some of you guys, you could have blocked this person or you're avoiding communicating with this person. For a big group of you guys, the reason why you're avoiding communicating with this person is because this person has some type of control over you. There's a lot of chemistry between you and this person. There's a lot of passion between you and this person. And you and this person, has you have a lot of history with this person. For some of you guys, this person, you have a soft spot for this person. Big, big energy. For some of you guys, you have a soft spot for this person. A lot of memories. A lot of memories. Some of you guys, you wanted something solid or you finally got it. And then something happens. But a lot of you guys, you're trying to avoid this person as I see 333 on the clock. For some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here. They, ha they know how to pull on your heartstrings. They know just what to say to get you. <laughs> They're very charming. For, for a lot of you guys, you're dealing with this earth sign is very charming. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person is very charming. Look at that separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning for you. A lot of you guys, you're trying to avoid this person. A lot of you guys, you're trying to avoid this person. I'm hearing that's what they get. For a lot of you guys, that's what they get. We have the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues. Now they want to chase. For some of you guys, this person wants you to chase them. For some of you guys, this person wants you to chase them. And then we have camera reminiscing again. For some of you guys, this person has photos of you, videos of you, pictures of you, messages from you. And this person is constantly looking at this. There's a revisiting. There's a revisiting of memories and of you. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming. A surprise invitation, meeting, hesitation. So this person may actually surprise you. Yeah, the Grim Reaper. 
The relationship is over. No second chances grow and transform your life. So for some of you guys, you may actually communicate this to this person that you don't want to do this anymore. For a group of you guys, you may, yeah, look at that. We have the chaser and the runner. So whether you're the chaser or the runner, we have the chaser and the runner. For some of you guys, you may actually communicate with this person or vice versa that this connection is over. Because I'm getting an energy of like someone here that is tired of chasing after someone. For some of you guys, you know what it, it's like? You wanted something, because I see this, where you wanted something with this person. And this person wasn't giving you or hasn't given you what you wanted. And I get it for some of you guys, you're trying to get this person or you've given this person a taste of their own medicine. And they do not like this. This person does not like this. Not at all. Show me spirit. Show me what's currently going on with my Virgo in this earth sign. The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. So this is something faded, Seven of Pentacles, still invested. Wow, this energy actually just came out in the general reading I just did. Still invested here. For a small group, you guys, this is somebody here that you that you work with. For some of you guys, this is your twin flame. That's why there, there's so much chemistry between you and this person. That's why you. That's why it's hard for you to resist this person. That's why you try to dodge this person because there's something that pulls you towards this person's energy. Yeah, what's the current challenge? Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, truly, truly getting, getting the feedback that you want, getting the love and the emotions that you want. Getting this person to match your energy is your current challenge. The will of fortune, I'm sorry, the will of fortune is here. I'm looking down at this cancer energy, getting things moving forward movement, overcoming obstacles. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's just about feelings and emotions, getting this person to express to you how they truly, truly feel, getting this person to want to be open to open up to you, getting this person to want to be in a relationship with you, getting this person to show you that they care. Big, big energy, the chariot, cancer energy. Let's get this moving. Let's get the ball moving. For some of you guys, there's been so much so much stagnation between you and this person. For some of you guys, you've been so patient with this person. There's been so much stagnation with this person. And you're and you're you, it's like you're growing weary. For some of you guys, you're ready to move on from this person because this person, they're they're not catching up. You want this person to catch up to you, but this person is not catching up to you. No. Show me spirit. How does this person, this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, how do they feel about my Virgo? How does this person? Ooh, four of wands. Oh, y'all saw how that card flipped right out. For some of you guys, this person, you're separated from this person. Eight of wands. This person wants to communicate. See, there's a lot of separation between you and this person. There's a lot of dodging the relationship. This is like putting a, a, a block in this relationship. This person wants to communicate. This person wants to talk to you. The sun, Leo energy, this person wants to heal this. I feel like this person wants to, to enlighten you. This person wants some type of enlightenment. Scorpio energy at the bottom, death, Scorpio. This person wants some type of enlightenment to transform. This person recognizes that you're their soulmate. For some of you guys, this person wants a relationship. For some of you guys, this person wants to reunite. Yeah, the lovers. For some of you guys, this person could have a choice between two. And there's conflict here. There is conflict. Mm, there's beef between you and this person for a lot of you guys because this person could have left you out in the cold. Or, and when I say that, for some of you guys, it's not that this person totally abandoned you. It's giving me an energy of this person could have kind of left you da dangling because they had to make a decision between you and someone else for some of you guys. Or because you just really and truly didn't know what's up with this person. In terms of their emotions, in terms of their feelings, it's like you couldn't get, there's, there's, there's a very little reciprocity in this energy. There's very little, tell me what's up in this energy. Very little of that. Yeah. Show me spirit. Show me near future between my Virgo and this earth sign. Show me near future. Justice. Okay, Libra energy. So we see something. This person actually is going to come towards you right. Ooh, judgment though. Ooh, ooh. What is this? For some of you guys, this person's coming in for a second chance. This person made a bad decision. 
in the very near future, either they made a bad decision already or they're making a bad, a, a, this is a bad judgment call on this person's behalf that they're trying to correct. They're trying to right a wrong with you. For a lot of you guys, if you're dealing with another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and this person is trying to right a wrong with you. Big, big energy, Scorpio energy, the world here talks about manifesting a new beginning. Let's close out. Let's let bygones be bygones. Let's close this chapter of our life and let's try to work on this. Let's try to work on this manifestations. This person is manifesting. This person, this person's ready and willing to pull out all the stops. Well, in the very near future, Gemini Virgo energy, they're going to be ready to pull out all the stops here. Four of Swords, let's heal this. This person's gonna contemplate, they're gonna watch you, they're gonna stalk you, but this person is excessively, excessively thinking of you. There's a, there's a sense of codependency. There's a lot of desire, a lot of passion, a lot of attraction. There's a lot of pull towards you with this person. So I do see communication. I do see communication. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, injury because this person sees something solid with you. But this is only going to happen in divine timing. This is going to require patience. But I do see the offer. I do see the offer as I see 11, 11 on the clock. I do see the offer for you guys in the very near future. Yeah, let's see. Show me spirit. How does this Virgo Taurus Capricorn feel about my Virgo spirit? Oh, card down. So many things remind me of you. This person can't stop thinking about you. This person cannot stop thinking about you. Show me. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Somebody here is fighting their feelings. Somebody here has been fighting their feelings. We both know I'm not the one for you. This person goes back and forth in their head. I'm becoming a better person. For a small group of you guys, I feel like this is just something this person's saying to themselves. This person goes back and forth in their head. This person is very, very indecisive in their emotions. That's why a lot of you guys have been confused in this. That's why some of you guys, you've pulled back your energy. You've set boundaries with this person. You're thinking that you're going to give this person some time and this person is going to come around, but it's still showing me in the very near future while this person wants to offer you something. This person wants to balance the scales. It's still showing me that you're going to go through a few things with this person because this person, mm, they're not emotionally mature. Their emotions is a little unstable. They spend a lot of time in their head. This person spends a lot of time in their head. For a lot of you guys, you're living rent-free in this person's head. For, for some of you guys, this person is living, living rent-free in your head. Big, big energy. Let's see. What's the advice for my Virgos that's dealing with another earth sign spirit? What's the advice? Okay. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So your spirit guides are calling you guys to kind of just let see how things unfold. Just see how things unfold naturally with you and this person. Give this person some space and opportunity and see how things unfold. There's an energy here of you not allowing this person to stress you out. Strong energy. Yeah. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love every last one of you guys. Until next time. Bye, guys.